Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that the next video of uh, RCSA Linux certification and which is also similar video of my previous video called uh, NMCLI the video okay uh, to manage your network um, uh, manager or the controlling the network manager using the NMCLI command line but here uh, most of the people that uh, always whenever you are using the Linux you have to type the commands uh, in order to configure anything or in order to modify anything but here I am going to show you uh, easy steps like how you can create a new profiles or new connections or how to activate those connections over here and um, get your work done quickly without um, like typing so many commands you just select and type uh, simple stuff over here and um, edit the connections or the uh, change the host name or connect this um, profiles to the devices or uids or ssids whatever it is okay you can simply do this using this um, nmtui text based user interface so which is uh, not not required any gui over here which is on a text based ui okay so which can be run on your uh, terminal itself which means that you if you are accessing your server using the any of the ssh clients example the putty but uh, using here itself you can launch this uh, interface and uh, configure your connections example say that uh, as per the um, nmcli connection you can simply see that there are two profile currently okay one is the and uh, both are the active profiles and uh, one is running on ens33 device and one is running on um, uh, virtual bridging device okay now i'm going to create a new profile with the new ip address and we are going to activate that profile using the nmtui how easy it is you can just go ahead and then see this over here okay just type nmtui over here okay and go to the edit connections then say uh, just uh, navigate to this uh, stuff using the arrows or the tab okay you can simply type tab it goes to the next screen next option or you can also type the uh, arrows okay then you can go over here so i'm just going to add a new connection which is called add and say ethernet connection and just hit tab so and i say that i'm going to create a new connection for the ethernet okay now here the ethernet connection i'm going to say over here it is that uh, maybe a connection name called home okay and here you have to provide your device name which device name you are going to use over here okay that is ens33 i'm going to use over here and the ethernet okay i'm not going to clone any mac address or i'm not going to set any uh, mtu size over here which is by default okay and here by default i just wanted to disable this uh, ipv6 ignore it and uh, show this and uh, going to configure the ip address manually over here and add the ip address okay 192.168.2.142 something like this and the gateway address 192.168.2.2 over here and the dns address also is 192.168.2.2 in my case okay and uh, if you want to add more dns ip addresses you can simply uh, add and hit enter over here example say that uh, i'm going to add public dns over here and uh, search domains which domains you would like to search over here okay say maybe say irkt.co. in my search domain name okay and here so you can say automatically connect available for our users okay which can select uh, and or deselect any way options okay require ip4 addressing for the connections if you want okay you can select it if you want to add the custom routing you can also add over here okay but i don't want to do all these uh, uh, settings over here this is the settings enough for me for creating this profile ip address gateway dns and new uh, dns ip address and uh, domain search name okay and profile name and uh, device name click ok 
unable to add the new connection in sufficient privileges because um, what happens here it is that I am running this connection from the uh, normal user so that's why I do not have the privileges so I'm just going ahead and uh, running with the sudo okay and simply going ahead and editing this connectivity over here say home and um, this is my device name and uh, first of all I'm going to disable this uh, ipv6 and i'm going to say manual ip address and add 192.168.2.2 over here sorry 2.142 over here and the gateway is 192.168.2.2 and the dns ip address in my case is same okay and i want to add the new dns ip address and such domain is lkt.co.in that's it and go all the back down and see click ok then the new profile got created so it is not yet activated okay just created now you can simply go ahead and over here and say ok now go ahead and see nmcli connection show so you can see that new connection profile over here if you want to edit or activate that okay you can simply type nmtui edit the connection name okay so directly go to that uh, editing that connection directly without navigating to any other options over here you can simply go over here and edit the connectivity directly or you can also go and nmtui or like this so you can just go to the activate the connection if you want to activate this one you can simply click over here and press space bar and say activate so what happens the home has been selected and it is going to be activated then the profile got uh, activate and uh, you can get the new ip address settings if you want to change the host name over here you can simply do that as well okay by selecting the host name okay like this you can do that because uh, already was, my host name is already there or if you want to directly launch only with the host name itself you can simply use over here that um, nmtui iphone host name or space host name will also work so this is the direct space where you can just directly modify without going to the any other place okay simply modify the host name and come back or if you want to connect the new profile okay you can simply say nmtui connect then you can simply go and uh, activate the profile directly without uh, navigating to the multiple steps so like this you can use the nmtui uh, utility the text-based ui interface which is very very useful uh, to edit the connections and the create the functions or if you want to add new wireless ssids wi-fi connections you can also do that using this uh, nmtui there are multiple options over here while adding see this infinite band wi-fi bridging teaming you can also create the team from this uh, nmtui are creating the ip tunnels and bridging wi-fi connectivity and dsl router connectivity all the stuff so this is very very utility is very useful but sometimes it is very creepy is that in the previous versions of rcl7 like uh, 7.0 or 7.1 so but those bugs has been fixed on the new version uh, 7.3 and 7.4 okay i am currently using 7.4 so that's why it's very very smooth and uh, you can able to edit this profiles and activate the profiles uh, using this text based ui uh, that's about it okay it's very useful tool instead of uh, if you if you are bored or if you are uh, like feared with the command line interface sorry command li commands like nmcli commands then you can use this nmtui tool to um, which is most of the replacement command for the uh, setup command in rcl5 and rcl6 that's about it thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask